I did want to know one side note. When I was looking at the product landscape and you quickly Google Kojic Acid Skincare on Google, many of the products suggested do not have Kojic Acid. So shame, shame, Google, shame. shame. And so letting you guys know, so definitely do check the ingredient list to make sure you're actually getting this active. Mm -hmm. And then finally, to circle back, bring it all back to this what is this the episode full was. Circle episode. <laughs> Rice stuff. I think there is one burning question probably a lot of listeners and viewers have about rice stuff, and that's Patera. You're probably wondering, SK2's facial essence. Is that worth the price tag? Mm -hmm. Corey, do you have any thoughts? Oh, oh me. <laughs> well, I will say, like a lot of plant stuff, mm. especially when we're talking about like a more general name, like something something filtrate, mm. something something extract quality matters. As a chemist, that is a lot of our job is if we're on next episode preview, we're gonna talk about Centella Asiatica. Mm. There are a thousand different ways you can buy, you can get Centella Asiatica, but the quality and the active level is different. So we'll say the main SK2 facial essence, obviously it's like 99% Galactomyces ferment filtrate um, that Victor mentioned at the beginning of the episode. It's the OG. Nowadays you can find dupes of mm -hmm. it or like other brands that offers very similar products. Like Cosa Rx. Yeah, and a, and a much, much more friendly price point. Yeah. We will say it's hard to say, oh, you know, in terms of the benefits you're getting, is it the same? Mm -hmm. Is it the same sourcing? Because that stuff matters. So generally speaking, we'll say, you know, I might still aim to get the SK2 if I really want to see what the fuss is about. Yeah. Um, something like a Cosa Rx is not a bad place to start, but I think even as you try both of them, you might notice that it's hard to compare because they 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 are not the same thing. Yeah, and most likely our guess here is that SK2 has a proprietary sourcing here. And as it's been in their repertoire for I mean, decades, mm -hmm. I think this product has been around for who knows. And we're not the insider, like we couldn't tell you. So I totally agree with you. I think that sourcing matters. So there is this, I also would feel like, mm, I think... I would also lean towards the SK2 here. Yeah. yeah. Also because Kosaraska doesn't have any data. So I'm like not really sure. Yeah. So that's our general feel. It's not a great answer, mm -hmm. but I think that is just how like that that's just how we navigate more elusive products. Um, yeah. Sometimes you just really don't know. Yeah. But well say me on a personal level, I tend not to care for super proprietary ingredients like this because generally speaking, <laughs> even the SK2. I can't really tell you exactly what it is. So, yes. yeah. yeah. 